Hello everyone, this is a quick update of the progress that we've made. So we are building prosthetic hand for Agent H. And as Agent H has the wrist movement, we thought that having like a robotic platform above it would help us to grab things better. So the last video was about using grabber as a motivation so that we can basically use these sort of grabbers to actuate using the wrist movement and this is the initial prototype that we built using lego technique and it will be something that's mounted on the top so this is the first prototype if we add like a rubber it is not strong as we expected yet but the simple mechanism here is that move your wrist like this. It's going to actuate the claw to open and close. However, since this is a very thin grabber, it's not really able to grab things with strength. Oh, it, it does actually. Oh, it's surprising. But as you can see, if you're trying to grab like a water bottle, for example, it will be hard to grab. So for example, if you have water bottle and you have like a robotic platform, you you won't be able to you'll be able to grab but it's hard to, oh it lifts this is something that we didn't expect but um, stronger than I thought so this is the initial prototype how do we actually put this on the on our hand is this is a wrist wrap that I use for protecting my wrist through the workout I'm imagining that we put some sort of fabric so that it helps with putting on the device using like a wrist or um, something like this and we might have to make some sort of device that attaches the wrist the top hand part to this link but something that we can't imagine something like this and that was the first prototype we kind of wanted the grabber to be stronger this is the second prototype we built with technique and it's Work in progress still. We try to reinforce the mechanism so that it has stronger grabber force. So you can see there are four um, rubber bands that's able to even lift, even lift the water bottle like this with stability. So we have this, this. So those are the updates of this video. Right now we're only using like technique for initial prototypes but as soon as we are finalized with the design then we'll move on to using CAD or iPad for digital sketch then gonna move on to make a minimal viable prototype thank you for watching